Hello. Hello there. Hello, how are you? I'm oh. I'm tired, but I'm here. You're there. Good, excellent. So me too. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Juan Antonio, how are you? Uh so so. <laughs> oh, so. But you're here. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. So yeah, hi Claudia, how are correct. you? Yeah. Jennifer, good to see you. Sarai. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. We have o uh, A03, so I I can A02, so okay. Ah, I just remember that I had the verse that I promised to you, but I need to make the audio. So I'll make it tonight. I'll send it to you. I already had the most common verse use, uh, irregular verse. Okay. I make the list. Well, I found the list. I ordered, I rearrange it, and then I just need to make the audio. I will do it tonight. It will take like uh, four minutes, no more than that. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Me too, I guess. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> got it, got it. I better be ready. Okay, so hi Norma, Elizabeth. So welcome to the class. We cannot wait too much, so we will start. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, Don Vicente. So thank you very much. But but you're here. Yes, I'm working. Okay. My job. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That's all right. Okay. So let me just present over here what I did. Remember the last class I, we went over the topic for today, but it was because of the platform. So today we'll cover other stuff. Okay. Yeah. This is. I'm going to go to <laughs> uh, uh -huh. so this is our uh 13th class uh and today what 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 day is today what day is today today uh, uh -huh. november today november 20 2023, yes. And, and the lesson, what is the lesson, Sarai? What is the lesson? Uh, what will you do? Ah, what will you do? <laughs> what will you do if you found, if you won the lottery, Sarai? <laughs> I will, uh, That's a good question. <laughs> Buy an old house. Okay. Uh -huh. So you open a bank account. Okay, uh, buy a, your own house and open a bank. Oh, you had a lot of vision. Good. Me, I will spend it. <laughs> 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 and then, where is my money? <laughs> okay, good. Spend it before okay. late. Yeah. Okay. And then we are, uh, we are, uh, uh, we have some topic over here. Uh, the topic is, what is the topic? Uh, let's money. see. Money. Hops. Predic 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 predicaments. Speculation. And speculations. Okay. So remember that the topic that we are, um, that we are, um, let me just erase that one. Okay, the topic that we are talking is uh, we are using uh, talking about unreal things, things that might not happen. Okay, so winning the lottery might not happen, but it could happen. Uh, it depends, but uh, so that's what uh, we're talking about. So, and uh, oh, I just close this one. I am learning how to use some other uh, tools from soon. Okay. Okay. So what is a snapshot, uh, Jennifer Mousset? What is a snapshot? 
Um, some stories of honesty. Honestly. Ah. Uh, honest. Who cons uh, who considers uh yourself uh do you consider yourself a very honest person a hundred percent? Who says <laughs> yes and who says no? <laughs> <laughs> This is a tricky question. Yeah. Okay, this is a tricky question. Okay. Me, I consider myself very, a very honest person. You know why I, did I say that? Because I, found, I have found money. For example, once I found like $100 and I gave it back. And I went to look for all the office, asking who's, who, who lost something. And then I couldn't find the owner, but I gave it to someone in case someone was sent. And then uh, I found other money. I looked for the person without saying the money, and I gave it back. Once I, I found like $5 in the parking lot where I live, and... I didn't look for the person because it was in the parking lot where I live. And my wife uh, said, I thought that you were going to put a sign in front of the house saying, who lost $5? Well, anyway, so we're going to read and talk about uh, above examples of honest person. So uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Catherine Vasquez. The first story. What is the first story that I check over there? Taxi driver. Yeah, good evening. Right. Uh -huh, good evening. Taxi driver returns Brazilian soccer players World Cup gold medal and 60,000 is rewarded with 1,000 of souvenir. And souvenirs, yes. Okay, so that's uh, the, the, that was a taxi driver. He returned the money. He didn't keep anything, but he uh, kept on... Um, he got a reward and so on. And uh, Norma Elizabeth, the next one, oops, uh, this one. Businessman, uh-huh. Okay, businessman trucks, owner of seven, seven thousand, no, 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 uh, no 700, 700? Fifty thousand. Seven hundred fifty dollars. No, seven hundred fifty thousand. Uh huh. And is thank, thank only with a uh, phone call. <laughs> Did he receive anything <laughs> in a, in instead of for returning the money or no? Oh my God. No. He, no, he didn't receive anything. No, I don't believe that. Okay. Do you think <laughs> that he did the right thing? He did the correct uh, thing. Uh, maybe yes, maybe mm. not, right? So it depends on the opinion. Mm -hmm. what, uh, yes. what would you do? I, anyone can answer. I need like two or three participations, okay? Ah, uh, remember, we already covered the things that you were going to work. This uh, week, it will be focused on talking, but I would like most of you participate, please. Uh, two or three participants. What would you do if you find seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? Would you return it, or what would you do? Two or three participation mm -hmm. quickly. Raise your hands. Okay, Sarai. In my case, return, and it's because first one is not easy or money because you need to work a lot. Uh, so I, I feel bad if I lost a uh, sixty thousand fifty dollars, right? Yeah. And I feel mm -hmm. terrible. And second, because 
I'm very young, so probably if my parents found that money, they want to think that I'm doing bad things. Oh, yeah, you're totally correct. Thank you very much. Don Vicente? Yes, okay. teacher. Uh, well, it's a big quantity, but it's uh, very difficult to to keep it, to uh -huh. save it. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> What will you do? And okay, um, maybe keep it for myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe it's I'm a lot. Sure. It's a lot of money because it's a big quantity of yeah. money. It's a lot of money. One more participation. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tom Vicente. Very good, okay. Sarai. Very good. Uh, one more participation. Raise your hand, please. What? <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, my my tablet. Okay, uh, Sorry, raise my tablet. Uh -huh. raise your hands, please. One more participation. Okay, let me ask. Select the victim. Yeah, and the other one over there. Oh. And, no, not the one. And then we have another another here. That is, um, let me just, a uh, student turns. Let me give the opportunity, Cecilia Antonio. Cecilio. A student turns detective to find hour of love's cash credit card airline tickets uh -huh. and jewelry. I am honest man, the student, their relief owner. Okay, good, thank you. So the student find a, 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 a lost cash, a credit cards, um, airplane tickets, and some jewelry. Maybe it was a lot of money. So, and that, that was, let me see the other one. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Cecilia, very good. Uh, normally set, homeless, normally set, uh-huh, homeless, eh, Don Juan Antonio, a homeless, yes, a homeless, <clears throat> Homeless mom and three kids return loss um, for hundred check to owner. Owner helps family move into house of their own. Ah, so it was returned loss four hundred. Do you think that the owner of the uh, of the the owner of the hundred dollars did the correct things? I need like two or three participations. Uh, Don Juan Antonio, what do you think of the thing that you just read? Let me see. It was a homeless mom with three kids. And it was only four hundred dollars check, but the uh, but the owner helps family move into the house of their own. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's very interesting. But uh, I don't know who uh, do it. Ah, okay. Who uh, who do it? This 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 uh, action. Ah, okay. And what would you do, Don Juan Antonio? In your case, what would you do? Well, I don't have four hundred dollars. Uh, I can uh, do it. it. <laughs> but okay. if I was no, if I will be a millionaire, maybe. But uh, when 
uh, people go to um, no when the people uh, I can I don't I I don't know how can explain you. Okay, uh, good. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, sorry. Okay, good. No, that's it. And don't apologize, Don Juan Antonio. Uh, okay. my, one of my friends said, never apologize. You're trying, and that's good. An applause for you. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Maria, yes? What would you do? I think I do the same that ah. she does because she has three kids, so she is like teaching them too that when they found something that is doesn't belong to them, they have to return it. So I think she did the right thing. Okay. You know, homeless and uh, mom with three kids, they might be hungry, but yeah. they- It's not they, easy. They, it's not easy, they return the money. But another another issue that comes to me is that uh, the owner, only it was only $400. Imagine how much money the the person i don't know we don't know if it was a woman or a man spends uh helping the family move into another and to their own house it means that the person bought a house for them so i spend a lot of more money than this maybe uh it's it's kind of difficult right so but anyway okay uh let's just let me erase that one um Okay, and okay. So uh, I have some other questions. What would you do? Okay. Um. Well, you already. Uh, we already uh, answered this one. What is the 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 meaning of honesty base? This word. What is the meaning of honesty pays? Uh, this one. What is the pay, meaning? Pay all the debts. Mm, okay. I don't know, pay on time. Okay, maybe Don Vicente. Who else? Uh, yes, Aray? Maybe. It means for me that if you act correct, uh, you don't want to have consequences. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and you, and one day you will receive a reward, right? Remember that the ones that uh, that uh, 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 we one day will always be a reward, uh, receive a reward. So, yeah, I think so. Honesty pays. In my case, like I feel like a very honest person, um, but I, I cannot complain of my life. And answering Don Juan Antonio answer right now, nobody has gone at four hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't have four hundred dollars myself. <laughs> okay, so and uh, I got another question. Uh, what's happening? Okay. Have you ever found anything valuable? What do you do? Who would like to answer that question? I found $100 and I returned it. The owner of the person never got it, but I, I like someone told me, you did the correct thing, okay? So what do you do? Have you found, uh, have you ever found anything valuable? That any one of you? Uh, me, teacher. Yes, someday I found uh -huh. one one uh, one hundred dollars. Uh, no, uh -huh. no, no, dollars. Co uh, colones. Colones. Oh. Uh -huh. it's, and it's difficult to return because uh, I don't know uh, who is the, than... the the owner. Uh huh. And yes. then. Uh, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because okay, well, I maybe, found in the street. Ah, <laughs> that was the reason. No. That, that was the reason. Uh -huh. Because you found it the street, uh -huh. on the street. And, uh -huh. and really, when I saw, I, uh, I, no, I saw, and I, I saw that uh, 
no money, but continue walking. And ah. then I I come back and take it. Okay. And I I found this at uh, one hundred. Uh, you know, you know, um, I agree with you because uh, maybe, uh, it was you found on the you found on the street, and on the street is very yes, difficult yes. to find someone yes. over there. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Catherine. Yeah. Uh, honesty pays out at the end. Yes, you always receive a word. Yes, Don Vicente. Um, I remember that I found um a duel. Like um, I don't know how you say uh, pulsera, uh, uh, bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. But it it was on the street, so I uh, I didn't know who is the owner. Mm -hmm. So I keep it on my wallet uh, in, in my pocket, and I still have it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't I don't know I I didn't know who is the the owner. Yeah, the thing of the finding something on the street is very difficult to really uh, find out the owner, unless it's a wallet. Like, for example, me, I found a wallet. Uh, it has uh, ID. It has an ID and it has uh, like, it had like $20. It was one of my neighbors from here and I went to look and listen. And I said, listen, I found your wallet, but they're only there only was $20. And he said, yes, I only had $20. Okay, here are the money also. Okay, that's different and different. In the United States, I found a wallet also when I was living in San Francisco and I emailed, I put it in one of the emails. So because uh, the people from there take it over there. Okay, so yeah, uh, there are a lot of situations over there, but remember, in this lesson, we are talking about hypothetical uh, things, okay? So let's uh, listen to the conversation. For example, uh, who would like to say something about this uh, picture over there? You, we already did. We're not going to spend too much time on this one. Who would like to say something about the picture? Yes, Don Vicente. Uh, they are um, in a cafe and they are uh, reading a, a, news yeah, a news in the paper. newspaper about uh, somebody found uh, a lot of money. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Don Vicente. Let's listen. Listen and practice. Let me... Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, uh, someone else, a participation. What would the woman do if she found the money? Uh huh, participation. Go to Las Vegas and double the. Uh, okay, she will. Uh, she will uh, go to Las Vegas. Or she might go to Las Vegas. And what else? Someone else. She will try her luck at the casinos. Ah, uh, she will try her luck at the casinos. And one more idea, Bob. And what will do after she play in the casinos? Double the money, maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh, double the money. Maybe duplicate the money. Ah, duplicate the money. Yes, yeah, someone. Good, excellent. Okay, and after she duplicate the money, what will she do with the with the money? Would she return it or will she keep it for herself? Yeah, she returned the money that uh, was uh, bond, bonded. Bonded. Uh, 
Uh -huh. Pong. Exactly. Pong. Good, excellent. So she might return it and um, okay. So on the but grammar. What, what happened if what happened if she lost in the in the participation of casino? Ah, that's what the guy said, <laughs> right? Uh, we don't want to know what. Go to what jail. Was. Yeah, my view. Okay, remember that uh, we are talking about hypothetical, hypothetical things, ideas over here, things that are not real. And we're using the, and uh, we are using the, the word that express condition. What is the word that express condition? If. If, okay, if I go. If I see, well, in this case, if I saw, if I want, okay, because there are uh, three or four uh, uh, conditional sentences, but right now we're talking with the unreal conditional. So that's the, the thing that we're talking. So I just review over here and uh, let's see. Page 93, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? Imaginary situation with simple past forms. If I found $750,000. Imaginary consequence with modals would, might, or could. I wouldn't return it so fast. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. If I found $750,000, I might go to Las Vegas. If I found $750,000, I could double it in a casino. If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the police. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the police. Okay, so we're talking about imaginary situation, and the first part of, the, of this one is... Uh, we use what is s? Oh, oh my! Uh huh. We what use is... imaginary situation with simple past form. Uh huh. Simple past form. And what is the sentence? If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollar. Okay. In an imaginary situation with simple past, remember that we always use if the condition plus the simple past. For example, if, if I won the lottery, if I, I had a car, if I bought a house, if I traveled around the world. So all of the verbs, it doesn't matter that is regular. Regular has to be in verb two. Uh, in verb two. Fact. Uh -huh, in the simple past. And, and here on the second one, on the next one, on imaginary situation, we say we use imaginary consequences. We use a moral. What are the morals that we use? Would. Everybody, my or good. My, my good. good. Could is the past tense of can, okay? So, but uh, in, uh, in this case, we use it with could. And plus the simple form, um, base form of the, of the principal verb. Okay, so I could return, I could go, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't return, I wouldn't uh, win, I wouldn't play. I might play, I could double, I could play, I would go, I would uh, win, et cetera, et cetera. So we always use the simple past form of the verb over there. Let me just erase this one. Okay, so we already studied this. We are not going to 
Oh, desactivate it. Okay. Okay, there you had this one before the class. So remember that say if I just read, uh, read it and allow voice. Oh. If I found, if I, I found, uh huh, I hundred fifty thousand dollar. I, I wouldn't would return, return it is. so fast. So fast. That the person is saying that she wouldn't, uh, that the person is saying that he or she wouldn't return it or she will return it. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Is the person saying that he, uh, he or she will return it or will not return or wouldn't return it? What is the meaning of the sentence? He wouldn't return it. Not returning the money? No. Ah, look, but it said return it so fast. Mm -hmm. ah. the spirit, return it. Yeah, the spirit of the sentence is that she, she will return it, but not uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Remember that the lady said that she will go to Las Vegas and try to double and everything. But at the end, she's saying, I will return it. <laughs> okay. So, and then it says, I would go out to start spending it. And, and the last one, I. I could buy. I could buy clothes. Uh, clothes. Okay. And then don't worry, que cambie las, las actividades, okay? Two types of verb forms to use. So one is the number one, Elizabeth Medrano, the simple verb. Uh, the, the, the sentences? Uh -huh, the sentence, number one. Okay, the number one is the simple verb in the main clause, found. Found, so what it means? Uh, simple present or simple past? Simple, simple past. Simple, simple past. Simple past. And uh, simple past. Yes, uh, Wendy, Wendy Lisette, number two. Never asked, yes, okay. Wendy Lisette, number two. Number two, uh, a modal word in the main clause, wool. Wool. Remember that we use, uh, in the main clause is the, the, the consequence, okay? I would return, I would, I could, I might, I may, etc. And then you had uh, examples over there. If I had $750,000, I might travel I around the world. world. I could travel around the world. I would travel around the world. So we can use uh, different models over there, okay? So, Capiche? Comprende? Capiche. Okay, Capiche. <laughs> I, I always... Capiche. Okay, <laughs> good, excellent. So more examples that we saw over there. I, if I had, what is, what is Don Luis Alfredo, number one? Uh, just, just read if I had. Excuse me. Give me a... Okay, I think we will not hear you because of the TV. Okay. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, okay. we have Juan Antonio, number one. Yes, sir. Uh, if I has his number, I might call him. I might call him. Good. Uh, number two. Uh, I, I, no. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay, number two. If she were rich, she could travel all over the world. 
all over the world. Remember that I told you last uh, Thursday that uh, when we talk about hypothetical ideas, hypothetical things, we don't say she was. If, if she was rich, you can say, but it's not correct. We always say, if she were, if he were, if I were, okay? So we use the past where. Good, thank you very much. The next one, who would like to read it? This is a question. Will you go to the party if they invited you? If they invited you, you see? We use, even though we use uh, would you, when we use questions, we first of all use the hypothetical consequence. Would you go to the party if they invited you? The next one is a question. Uh huh. What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if you won the lottery? And the next one. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Yes, if I were you, I wouldn't do that. Okay, uh, here we have a couple of exercises. What is, um, in this is match the closest and A with information will be more than one answer is possible. If I ha found a bubbler in my home, what would you do? What would I do? Call the police. Call okay. 90. Okay. Okay. I uh, probably I would probably call the police. Thank you, Don Vincent. Uh, another. Another possibility. Ladies. What is the meaning of bur bur burglar? Bugler, bugler. Uh, means a ratero, a ladrón. Oh, okay. Thank uh -huh. you, teacher. Yeah. It, the, the, is... number, the number G, letter G, excuse me, letter G, I run to my neighbors for help. Yeah, that's another possibility. Yeah, okay. So letter uh, D will be, I'll probably call the police and I'll, 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 I'll run to my neighbor for help. Which one is more like it? Which one will be the correct thing to do? What would you do? Would you call the police or would you run for uh, for help with a neighbor? Uh-huh. Uh, I uh, think that you probably call the police. Uh, you the probably police. call the police, okay. Okay, so. For F, I might tell a uh, sales clerk. Ah, okay, could be, okay, uh, okay. So what about number uh, two? If I saw someone shoplifting, you know what shoplifting is? No. Taking what is not yours at the, oh, okay. let's say uh, one of the molds and I'm putting, uh, you know, clothes or jewelry. So shoplifting. I mean, taking the things that are not yours and you are not, uh, you want that. to pay. Yeah, it's like to roll, to steal, to rob or to steal. Uh-huh. What would you do? Okay, let me, let me, uh, let me, because I want you to discuss a little bit also. Let me send you, uh, could you please, uh, make a capture of this image. It's in your manual, though. It's in your manual. Um, capture the image, and I will send you to the 
to the breakup rooms in group of three again in order to discuss and to match the possible uh, possible answers, okay? Just let me go back. ¿Ya hicieron la captura o lo tienen en el manual visible? En el manual. Okay, yes, it's over there. Mm -hmm. It's over there. Yes. Uh -huh. Let me go salirme aquí porque si no van a ver las respuestas. <laughs> okay, so stop the projection. I will send you to the to the breakout rooms for about mm, six minutes, five minutes, six minutes. Okay, for you to work in trios. And how many? Eighteen. Uh, how many? People, teacher, I have yes. a problem. Yes. Yes, I I am working. Ah, okay, okay. I and am then... listening. Okay, okay, good. And don't Thank worry. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's say sixty. Uh, you will have only like six minutes, okay? Okay, you should be receiving invitation. Please accept the invitation because people, you need to discuss with the rest of the people. Seventy-five. Seven hundred. No. Five hundred. 
thousand? I don't know. <laughs> if I found um seventy-five thousand. Yeah. Seventy-five thousand on the on the street. On the street. Maybe um, I will be running uh, to my home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right, running fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, immediately you take a taxi to your home. <laughs> I might not tell anybody. Hey, you tell the driver, hey, I pay you when I arrive at home. <laughs> I'm going to make you a transfer later. <laughs> Okay, the, the drive, you say the driver, hey, please go to the bank. <laughs> I'm going to open a, a, a bank account. account. <laughs> I know. Um, the, it could be, yeah. I guess I might spend it. Or... I could think of ways to invest it. Now with this, uh, with this money, um, you tell her, let her see, I, guess. I might not tell anybody. No. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. You are very honest. <laughs> oh, very, very. <laughs> yes, that's okay. Five. If look Ooh, myself, myself out of my house, my house. Oh, in the letter A. L letter Not five. Myself. Letter. Ah, oh, letter. Yeah. Uh huh. Number five. Excuse no. me, I am seeing that Noe is with us, but Noe, are you there? Oh, Noe? really? Yeah, you uh, haven't been participating. Okay, people should be coming, time is over. I think it's just a couple of seconds. Let me just check out. Yes, just a couple of seconds. Okay, congratulations. You were doing a great job. You were laughing, you were discussing, you were the, uh, sharing opinions, and that's fantastic. I love that. Okay. Uh, let me, let's check the answers over there. Uh, are, are you listening to, are you able to listen to me? Yes, I'm, my microphone is on. Okay, so, oops. Uh, just one second. Okay, we said that uh, I found a burglar in my house, a bubbler, so what will I do? Burglar. I, call, I might call the police, right? I probably call the police and I other. If I saw someone shoplisting, uh, taking things that are not there, uh, what will you do? What is one idea that we could do? Uh-huh. Yes? Which number? Uh, number, number one? Two, number two. Ah, uh, number two. If I saw someone shop lifting. 
for me that uh, is a uh, letter A. Uh -huh, I'm letter... a sales clerk. Okay, I might tell the sec or letter D. Uh, okay. Call the police. Ah, you probably call the police. Another thing, yeah. Bali, your your response. Another is I might tell nobody, right? And that's what you, people usually do because you don't want to get in trouble also. Okay, if I have found again $75,000 on the street, I, Brenda, <laughs> I don't want to know what, what you and me will do. I mean, we will we'll not tell to anybody. Okay, what is another idea? What what's Take, this? take a taxi to my home. Okay, <laughs> so, but uh, the possible answers over there? Ah. May uh, not tell anybody. I might not tell everybody. I could think of the way to invest it. I might not tell anybody. And the other possibility, I guess I might spend it, which it will not be nice, but anyway. If the teacher gave me a knee on a test mm -hmm. by mistake, what would you do? What I'm gonna you... give you a Coca-Cola. <laughs> uh -huh. But what would you do in this case? Let her see. Let her see. Yes, I might not tell anybody. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. if I lock myself out of my house, I mean, the keys is inside the house and I am outside, what will I do? Letter A. Letter A. And what is letter A, Don Vicente? I break a window to get in. I might break a window. I would. I but it sounds I but I but break a window break to get in. Another is G. I run to my neighbor for help or H. I could set up kids from mine. The H I don't like it. Uh, do 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 you think that is correct? Number A. We're not discussing it. No, it, it's not correct because uh, probably somebody look at you and maybe. Uh, could could make the same thing. Yeah, giving my my home kiss to my friend. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. No. Uh, and and what about if I won a million dollars in a lottery? What it will be? Someone else. Okay. Letter B. B. I'm I sorry. Could think of, uh huh. And letter. Letter C. And read uh, read the sentences. Um, I could think the ways of invested. Invested. I might not tell anybody. I might not tell anybody. Yeah. Okay. I unfortunately we don't have much time. We just have like five minutes. Um, but let's see. Uh, what do you think of the what What do you see on the picture over there? Uh, let me see if I see one of the, uh, -huh. uh Eugenio, are you there? Jennifer Arevalo, hi. Hello. Oh, Eugenio. <coughs> hello, Miss. Yes, hello. I'm sick. Oh, I'm, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I hope that you get better. Okay, don't worry. Uh, but you're Thank here. You. Uh, Jennifer, what do you see in the picture over the there? Casi no puesto atención porque no estaba en mi casa. Ah, okay, okay. You travel. Yes, that that's that's all right. Don't worry. Uh, yes, Tommy Sente. I guess uh, that guy uh, found uh, something. It could be a jewel, I guess. A jewelry? A jewelry? Uh huh. And uh, he's guessing what he's going to do. Okay. And what would you do? 
keep it in my okay. in my pocket. <laughs> okay, keep it on on your pocket. Thank you. Okay, yeah, my 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 my. Okay, normally said Crespin. What would you do if you found a jewelry, a valuable jewelry? Uh huh. Uh, where? Uh, yes, on Luis Alfredo. And the picture I seen what the gentleman was found in the way or in the street, a ah. ring of a ah. ring of wall, and he have very much look. Ah, okay. And why do you think, Don Luis, if you uh, uh, pay attention to the picture, he's on the street. What tells you that he's not a house, he's on the street? No, here in the street, no, here is a forest. Ah, <laughs> there is a forest over there. Okay, there are a couple of trees. You can see the trees over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, okay, so do you think that it's possible to find the owner of the jewelry if you find it in a forest or on the street? Uh, on, the, on the street, dollar. Okay, maybe or maybe not. Okay, so tomorrow we'll uh, we'll, we'll discuss a couple of questions. Uh, I will we will start with a breakup rooms to talk about third time possibility according to the ideas over there. Okay, so but okay. that will that will be tomorrow. Okay, let me just stop the sharing. And take the and take, and take the the attendance. Yo creo que sí. Okay. Uh, it's the second. <coughs> Okay, Ana Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Andrea Estera Costa Hernández. Brenda Claribel Mejía Segovia. I'm here. Eh, Cecilia Antonio Cortés Escobar. Present, Mr. Claudia María uh, Gómez Canizales. Present teacher. Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present, Mr. Eh, Giovanni José uh, José González Olmedo. Jennifer Mauset Arevalo Flores. Present. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present, teacher. Catherine Maribel Vázquez Flores. Present. Eh, Laura. Concepción Mena Garay, Lorena Araceli, Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán, Present teacher. María, okay, good. María José Najarro Mengíbar, Noel Ezequiel Rivera Medrano, Present. Norma Lisset Crespín Orellana, Oscar and Alexander Domínguez, Saraí Noemí Trejo Suyoa, Present. Vicente, okay, Vicente Israel Sánchez Serazo, Present teacher, y Edwin Lisset Carías de Cedillo, Present teacher, okay, good, uh, just let me go. Okay, 
Let me go over here. Ok, remember that aunque eh, tenemos, nos falta esta semana, es importante conectarse. I'll see you tomorrow at this time, ok? Sí. Ok, bye bye. Good night. 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 Good